This is a farm car, right? It was painted right here. I didn't, like, I haven't painted a car for 10 years. I have, wasn't even experienced enough to reali even realize the gun wasn't working right. Oh, it looks good. But it wasn't the fast drying reducer because also when I opened up the hood after I got all this on, I didn't account it, account, what's the word? Calculate the possibility of the thickness of the paint when I was doing my body work and, and I got the hood too close and anyway, when I opened up the hood, it chipped the paint off the front of the hood. So I had to open up the hood and I spent hours sanding a little bit of a trench in the paint job inside there where that opens up gotcha. on this part and the edge off the hood so until it, it would miss. Then I masked up everything is like you wouldn't believe, and then I put slow drying reducer in my paint, yeah. blaming it on fast drying reducer. <laughs> and I also polished this up with 600 grit. There was no ripples in it, and I painted it. And look at that paint job; it's exactly the same orange peel <laughs> that everything else has. And same I still gun. had glue on. It was the gun. <laughs> so anyway, gun. now when the hood opens, it misses by about uh, 30 seconds of an inch. It's not right. Yeah, something like just, that. <laughs> anyway, just you know, there's the headlights up. Yeah. But uh, yeah. every yeah every step of this car, every way, everything you do in a challenge, and you get it there onto the next class. <laughs> like it's in grade school, you have to go you through grade two you, before you, you get to grade three. Well, you everything on this car. It's, uh, if you can't get this particular problem, there's no way you're going to get the next one just around the corner. Because every single thing <laughs> I seem to do gets harder and harder and harder. But the worst thing I had to deal with was the back bumper. Putting that back bumper on. There's what it did to my finger. I squished my finger on both sides. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, I did yeah. that in about five seconds. <laughs> and just red, just pouring off the end of my finger all over the car. And I went in the house and wiped it up. Errors is in. Look. Uh, that's Ford. <laughs> but um, I didn't paint inside the doors because they looked uh, they, they, they looked must be real pleased. good. They, they must be pleasing. Now look. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. You know, on both. Like that, I didn't, like that's original. As far as I know, that's the original paint job. Yeah. But. So the person that you bought this car from, do they know you got it fixed? Um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. I told, I call. Oh, he drops in once in a while, but uh, he's he'll be down some days. So he, um, I gave him hell a month ago. He kept asking me on the on messenger, "Did you get it painted? Did you get it painted yet?" And I said, oh, "Fuck off." <laughs> 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 so it's he, nice to he, know he doesn't ask anymore, over and over. Like that's. That's, if I never need something like that, I know where it's at. Yes, and I got a three-inch pipe that goes on it here, yeah. up to the ceiling. Okay. And that way, it'll jack up this barn. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, like seven or eight times. And I got, as I said, a pipe that goes on it to... Um, yeah, maybe um, more leverage. But the only problem with the... Well, you don't need to know all the instructions. Way, the whole thing slides right down and gains the tunnel. So you've got to be kind of I'd, I'd want to know that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm in a battery swap. I'm trying to move the Studebaker out to put it up here, then draw, then put the battery out of the laser in well, the yellow car. You're going to move this, the black steam picker. I'm moving this oh, okay. track and putting it up there. Yeah. Pushing this outside, moving that over there putting the battery of the laser in the yellow car to get it out for the winter, and then I had to get my red car, put it in, then the laser back in, then this back in. Fuck, we better get out of here, you got something to do. <laughs> all, with, all with one battery. <laughs> one battery. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Boy, you could almost get, buy another battery and leave your yellow car in, <laughs> yeah. and then put your laser right where the yellow car is. Yeah, the, my yellow car is my winter car. I'll put your yellow car, put your blue car in, be done. No moving, nothing. You get another battery by. <laughs> if there's something else, I tell well, you. Well, anyway, so 
I don't think it's going to rain for a couple hours. You can lightly give me a hand. I think it's going to line up here. The sport. Jim, you walking on new fucking boots today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my other boots, the sole or the toe thing broke. And I, I was so busy I, and inspired, I didn't even take the time to take my broken sneakers off and the toe was loose and put strain on the bottom part of my foot, but back in here that hit my middle toe were hooked on. Anyway, now my foot's all swelled up and I can hardly <laughs> fucking walk. <laughs> because I walked with a bit of a limp all day where this foot, where this boot was hurting my foot and I didn't have enough brains or I was too excited and too busy working. Anyway, fuck, I'm paying for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want to push to you? Just a minute now. Push, push, push easy. Not too fast, because yeah. I don't want to hit that gun pot. I'm with you. You don't have to turn or anything, do we? Uh, maybe. No, we you're... shouldn't get too much speed. I just want it out. You're good. Uh, honestly, we think it's not going to run over that dirt pile. I don't think it will. That dirt pile is like... How about you get behind it and I'll push it out? <laughs> okay, he knows more than I do. Well, it's stopping. <laughs> if I stop it, yeah. it'll be up on it. Won't start when you bring it in? Uh, I hope so. That looks nice, Jim. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you stand and you look at it, it appears that this points in the air a little tiny bit. But if you stand back there, it points down. Okay. And if you stand way over there, it's straight. Jim, but I did have it up. <laughs> I, I lined it up when I made it straight. But it's not supposed to be straight. But when you stand back there, it's good. It's got about an I, inch I, downward. I, I honestly think Selena Gomez would get in. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of spoiled, you think? Kind of spoiled, you think? I don't think you Richie think, Things huh? actually impresses her. <laughs> She's gonna sing that Shania Twain song now. No. That don't impress me much. Right? Yeah, yeah, I hate that. I hate those just because of that song. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be very happy about this. More people are here trying to buy that thing. What's it worth? Um, that's a good one. <laughs> Do you need a hand for anything else? Nope, nope, everything else is either come alongs or batteries. Come on. <laughs> but anyway, that really bothers me having this edge yeah. back here. Like, I well, add a quarter of an inch there. Yeah. That's nicer. And this is straight, like, this is the same distance same, yeah, here yeah. as there. So if I you push this ahead, yeah. that would have been crooked. Yeah. But things are never made exactly square because on this side, you even, want to see the things? <laughs> well, anyway, I. I'm quite proud of that because you can hardly, you can see it, but you can't see it. Like it's no worse than. I wouldn't anything. pick up on it. No, no. But it looked like it looked bad not long enough. But yeah. Okay. It, yeah. it bothered me. I could hardly sleep. So. Hardly <laughs> sleep. <laughs> was it the foot or, or was it the thought of the bumper? Well, I was in bed at uh, ten o'clock at night when I knew that I when I chipped the hood there and that was scraped. And at 11.30, I got dressed and came back out and spent three hours sanding the edge of the hood and went to bed at 3.30 in the morning or so. And then I came out the next day and finished it off and decided that it's okay. And then I spent hours masking all in around so it wouldn't get some overspray on the radiator and the side of the headlights and stuff. And because, see, I had to paint it with the hood open and closed because the hood open is where you get the edge yeah. inside and hood closed is where you get the front. And you build up with the paint you're getting tipped. So I had to tape it so that I could open and close the hood. I like anyway, this. then... I like this is oval. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. You know what I mean? The car's so sharp and pointy, but that's oval. But it's like you said, uh, it'll look good driving by as long as you don't get too close. <laughs> like if you get... Actually, I could probably bump it. I but that's, a lot. that's a lot of work, isn't it? I wouldn't bother. Jim, jeez, man. Jeez, the cat's gonna like. The cats are gonna like it. Right? Yeah, the cat's gonna scratch it all to hell anyway. Life's kind of short to be old, way to, to be like, I'm fussy. Whenever I'm fussy on what I'm fussy about, and then I take my losses on everything else. Kind of. I got you. If that makes any sense. It does. You pick your. Like, you, uh, you pick your poison. Yeah. What to be fussy about? Yeah. You're not fussy about your cigarette. You're gonna roll a rolly. No, no. You're gonna jam.
jam that in there, you're not fussy. But when it comes to your paint job and things well, chipping and not working right, you guys If I painted but... just a little more often, I would have realized the gun wasn't working right. Because the paint just wasn't coming out. Man. I couldn't make it run. I couldn't well, that's a good thing. Yeah, but they, it told me there was a problem. And I didn't, I just kept painting. It, it might have been, it might have been a good thing. Because your, your car turned out good, you know. Turned out good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't okay. Well, it looks better outdoors. Because indoors, like in, outdoors. You can't see nothing in there. Yeah. These are dark. Well. And that's where you drive them outdoors. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. In case I had to take it off, I don't have, like this has a rivet. Popper you did have a hard time corner. running the window, didn't you? These corners aren't lifted on. Yeah. There's a real pop on those corners. Yeah. But anyway, I'll show you how close to move it. Hopefully, with the pushed out doors, it'll still cooperate. Of course, you want to be here when it chips. You'll be inside with them boots on. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to look at, from here, we're going to look at a MGA, not a 57 MGA. See? That's yeah, in the that is, though. Oh wow! It goes right down in there, and it misses. See what I mean? Yeah. And anyway, I another had it. another coat of paint. Another coat of paint. It wouldn't be like that. Yeah. I, oh, I I barely put three coats on that too because yeah. I was scared. Another two coats, it would have just chipped right off. Looks good, man. We're gonna look at a '57 MGA that's in the basement on its side. Yeah. It's in the basement of a like a building. It's on well, its that's side. Weird. It's weird. It was burned at one time. And it's, and it's in the basement it's on its the side. And the yeah. car should have kind of, it sounds almost like it should have been hauled to a junkyard. Doesn't it? Yeah, probably. It burned, and then they put it on its side in the basement. Well, he, he got it. It burnt like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he got it like 20 years ago for nothing, right? And he took it home. He put it in the basement. And he's got this all this stuff down there. We're going to go down and look at it. Maybe probably buy it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, what do you think? Yeah, yeah no. old <laughs> just the just the history of it alone is worth the money, eh? Yeah, Got I it. don't have the rubber on it yet. That's why that's not down in there yet. Yeah, it does look better outdoors. You'll be Jim P.I. running around that thing. Mm. You'll have a helicopter next and a landing, a couple a couple pit bulls, a couple of the Dobermans ahead, wasn't it? I'll take a look. I'll roll it and I'll drop that. Megan P.I.? Uh, I used to, but I wasn't. Uh, Tom Selly? Yeah. Mustache with six foot three? You know, Some big mustache. Yeah. If this car was sitting <laughs> beside a, a, the same car, original, yeah. it's not the same. Mm. Uh, the front end's customized. Uh, anybody like you and I, we, I know because I did it, I don't but know. you can't tell. What you do with it? Uh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> uh, where I straightened it out. To make this line line up with the door, yeah. Because I never saw, I never saw one on. Like if I saw one up on the hoist, I would have known how crooked that line's supposed to be. Okay. Because it, with this going in, it appears to go up. So they dropped it an inch down on the angle, and if you're up on a hoist, you'd see that this drops down. And I straightened it out and put it straight. And as soon as I got outdoors, front end stuck up in the air. So I had to bend the frame, readjust the bumper, grind. Uh, three eighths of an inch off the top of this with 36 grit on a belt sander. Don't tell me. And then I added half an inch of fiberglass on the bottom of this. This seam here is supposed to be just under half inch, and I got it just over an inch. And also, when I was gluing and putting, fixing the fiberglass bumper, I had to cut two and a half inches out of it because it didn't fit between. It stuck way the hell out here, and I could and I could see him behind the bumper. And it looks like shit. So, and this gap and that gap are all right. And this is original. Everything fits. So I just cut two and a half inches over the bumper when I weld the metal back in to put it back in. Plus, there's supposed to be bumps right here with rubber bumpers on behind it that went into a frame to the radiator frame. So if you bump the radiator, if you bump the front bumper, this was where the support was to the radiator frame and it would take out the radiator. So I cut that all out and put it straight so the radiator floats in there on the frame of its own. That way if the bumper gets bumped, the radiator the front doesn't of the bump, the bumper is not going to But the whole front end is actually, like all of this is 100% original, but the bumper and this edge is uh, shortened and width and, and you know, it's changed. But, well, it looks the way it's supposed to. Well, 
and the front end still appears to point in the air at certain angles, but if you get other angles, it appears to point down. Are you smoking before you look at it? it it's kind of, it's kind of hard on the head if you're building it. Like, like mm -hmm. I had uh, many different ideas and nothing seemed to work, but. Oh, you didn't answer my question. What's oh. that worth? What's that I worth? don't know. Well, is it 50,000, is it 60,000? Uh, 95,000? Oh, I think you could probably get one for 30,000 American. Like that? Yeah. So you're talking No, 30 to 60 because it goes according to how much uh, update uh, has been done. Like if it We just stopped and looked at a Toyota Sleeka down the road here. If he, someone he, did he, all their He was asking 25. Mhm. Mm it's Toyota Sleeka. <laughs> he was asking 25. What's a Ferrari worth? What, what year is that? I know. What year is that? 80? 87. 87. So an 85 Toyota Celica. They're asking 25. Yeah. What's the difference between my age? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know the Toyota very well. 70,000 kilometers on it, turbo. Good condition. It's probably worth fair dollar, isn't it? No. Not that I know of. I think it's only worth about seven or 8,000. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's I know they're popular, but well, the turbo one you think would be really popular. Oh, beat the hell! Of, almost keep it'll almost keep up with this. Let's go! It'll go 150 miles an hour, and have good power and pull. Like and it's it's uh, handles like a actual sports car. Well, oh, there's my mom. No, no, that's not my mom. But my mom does drive a silver car. She's coming over to pick me up sometime. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I stand over here, that front bumper looks perfectly straight. Well, and that's the place you should be standing. There. And wherever you stand, stand back here, look at it, it's definitely pointing down. But if you get in the front, look at it, it looks like it's pointing up. Like it's one of those comfortable illusions. I wouldn't let it bother you. Well, it was way around. Yeah, it, it was, was pointing way up. It's really good. It's pointing down slightly. Just from here, but anyway. It's 